Hi, today we are going to study recurrence relation using substitution method. So first we will see what is recurrence relation and how to solve them using forward substitution method and backward substitution method. So let us start with recurrence relation. Recurrence relation is an equation which defines a sequence recursively. So basically it is taking a form of t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus a. So instead of n minus 1 any value would be there but it is just an example of recurrence relation. In the recurrence relation we also require to have base case or an initial condition. Initial condition or a base case is given for example as t of 0 is equal to 1 or some value. Now let us see how to solve or how to obtain a complexity when any recurrence relation is given. So let us first take forward substitution method. In a forward substitution method, say for example, t of n is given as t of n minus 1 plus n and base case or initial condition is given as t of 0 is equal to 0 and here we are expected to find the complexity or big O notation of a given recurrence relation. So let us start with forward substitution method. The base case is given for t of 0. That means when n is equal to 0 whose base case is provided. So we will start by putting n is equal to 1 in a given recurrence relation or formula. So in a given recurrence relation t of n instead of n we are substituting 1. If base case is given for t of 1, we will start our taking n from 2. If t of 2 is given in our original problem, we will take starting, we will take n is equal to t3 to solve our problem so on. Here n is equal to 0, that is t0 is given. That's why we will start with n is equal to 1. So our formula would be now t of 1 is equal to t of 1 minus 1 plus 1. So instead of n everywhere in an equation we have substituted value 1. Now inside t bracket n minus n 1 minus 1 would cancel out and it will become t of 0. So here t of 1 will be now t of 0 plus 1. So t of 0's value is already provided in the base case. So that would be substituted as value 0 plus 1 which is, is equal to 1. Now let us take n is equal to 2 in our original recurrence relation. So wherever the value n is appearing we will substitute value 2. So our equation will be now t of 2 is equal to t of 2 minus 2 plus 2. t of 2 minus 1 will be t of 1. And t of 1's value we have already calculated as 1. So 1 plus 2 will be now is equal to 3. So for t of 2 value is 3. Now we will find out or we will consider n is equal to 3. When n is equal to 3, it would be now t of 3 is equal to t of 3 minus 1 plus 3. That is, is equal to t of 2 plus 3. Now we already know t of 2 is equal to I can directly substitute value or a sequence. But suggestion is to always keep the sequence and not the value because it would be easier for us to generate a formula from a given sequence. So here that's why the reason I have not substituted values as 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. I have kept the sequence so it would be easier for me to generalize all the terms. 
So in case of T of 3, my sequence is 1 plus 2 plus 3. So can I say for T of 1 is equal to 1? For T of 2, it is 1 plus 2, that is and for 3 of 3, it is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Can I say for T of n, it would be T of, it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. So that is nothing but a simple summation series, which is given as summation of i from 1 to n. And also expanded as n into n plus 1 by 2. So, instead of a complete series, I will directly rather substitute its expansion. That is, is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. So, that would be solved as n square by 2 plus n by 2. So, in this case, the complexity of a given equation which is already in polynomial form is given as big O of n square. Let us consider the same example with the help of backward substitution method. The example is same that is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n. And base case is also kept the same that is t of 0 is equal to 0. Now in this particular case we are going to backwards or we are working backwards. For a given question, in a given question, t of n is given. So, instead of n, we are going to substitute n minus 1. So, in a complete equation, wherever n appears, we will write n minus 1 instead. So, equation is now t of n minus 1 is equal to t of n minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Now, this will be t of n minus 2 plus n minus 1. Let us substitute this t of n minus 1 value in our original equation. In our original equation, wherever the term t of n minus 1 comes, we are going to substitute these two terms, t of n minus 2 plus n minus 1. So, our original equation t of n would be now t of n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. And let me call this as equation number 1. Now, similarly we will work with n is equal to n minus 2 in our original equation. So, original recurrence equation is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n. Here, wherever the n appears, we will put n minus 2 instead. So, this will be t of n minus 2 is equal to t of n minus 2 minus 1 plus n minus 2. So, that would be t of n minus 3 plus n minus 2. Now, this is an expansion of t of n minus 2. Now, this t of n minus 2 will be substituted in our equation number 1. Now, in this equation number 1, there is one first term which is, is equal to t of n minus 2. So, that expansion, that complete equation is now substituted at this term and the rest of the values will be kept as it is. So, this result is now substituted in equation number 1. So, my equation will now will become t of n is equal to t of n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. So, similarly, we will work for n is equal to n minus 3 in our original equation. So, original equation is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n. Wherever n appears, we will substitute n minus 3. So, equation will be now t of n minus 3 is equal to t of n minus 3 minus 1 plus n minus 3. That is ultimately t of n minus 4 plus n minus 3. Now we will substitute the result that is, is equal to t of n minus 3 in our equation number 2. Now look at equation number 2. Equation number 2 already contains a term t of n minus 3. So instead of that term, our new calculated expansion will be substituted and rest of the terms will be as it is. So this way, 
If we put our calculated result in equation number 2, t of n will be now t of n minus 4 plus n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. And we would call it as equation number 3. Now, continuing the same example, we have actually obtained three equations. Equation number 1, equation number 2 and equation number 3. They are actually rewritten for our reference from a previous screen. Now, if you look at carefully, t of n is calculated as t of n minus 4 plus n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. So, instead of any value, n, t of n minus 3 or t of n minus 4, let me put value k. So, t of n will be can generalized as t of n minus k plus n minus k plus 1 plus n minus k plus 2 plus n minus k minus 3 plus 3 up to n. So, this is in this equation or in this particular series, let me put or let me try to bring our first term as our base case. Remember our base case is for t of 0. So, I will try to make this bracket term as a 0, which is for which I have to substitute n minus k is equal to 0. So, my first term would be t of 0 in that case. So, in this particular generalized term, we are going to substitute n minus k is equal to 0. So, our equation will now look like t of n is equal to t of 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus up to n. Because every term n minus k is now substituted to 0. Now, this particular value in this t of 0 is also added which is 0. If I add 0 to a complete series, won't make any difference. So, our series at this point also is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. This is basically a summation i series from i is equal to 1 to n which is also expanded as n into n plus 1 by 2. So, here in this case, t of n will be also n into n plus 1 by 2, which is n square by 2 plus n by 2. So, this is the simplest polynomial form of an equation from which I can directly figure out the complexity is big O of n square. Let us take another example for backward substitution method so it will be more clear to you. Say for example, recurrence equation is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus 5 for all n greater than 1. And base case is given as t of 1 is equal to 0. So what we will do? We will start n by putting n is equal to n minus 1. So in our original equation, t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus 5, we will put n equals to n minus 1. So, we now we will directly keep on substituting. So, it would be now t of n minus 2 plus 5 plus 5. The only substitution part is substituted with a square bracket. You can do it in a detail on a rough paper. So, that is calculated as t of n minus 2 plus 5 plus 5. Similarly, for t of n minus 2, substitution will be t of n minus 3 plus 5, where 2 plus 5 terms will be as it is. That is, is equal to t of n minus 3, 3 times 5 is added. That is 5 into 3. So, if we keep on substituting same way, our generalized equation will look like t of n minus k plus 5 into k. Let me call this equation as equation number 1. In this equation, we try to bring out our base case. In this equation, case is given as t of n minus k and our base case is t of 1. So, we try to take the term n minus k as 1. So, let me assume n minus k is equals to 1 in our equation number 1. So, t of n will be now t of 1 plus 
5 into instead of k, value will be now n minus 1. So this would be t of 1 is equals to 0 which is from base case and 5 into n minus 5. 5 is multiplied inside bracket so it would be 5n minus 5. So the complete equation is now in a simplest polynomial form then uh, I can directly find out the complexity of this equation is big O of n or simply theta of n or big O of n. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Dobia signing out.